So what I like about Next Level Snowboarding and Ryan Napton's channel, from an editing standpoint as an editor myself, I really like all the shots that Ryan selects and uh, how he cuts those together. Just takes the best of the best. And, uh, always impressed with whatever I see on Ryan's videos. Hey, thanks, Tom. I do like making huh? them and being out here shooting some awful views. <laughs> I like that Ryan will actually take the time to respond to pretty much every single comment. As People well, need to know my stance angles. E even that. <laughs> I also like the merchandise down at the bottom. Oh, hell yeah, Chad. <laughs> Jeff. Hell yeah, Jeff. <laughs> I, uh, I'm still trying to get one of those next level t shirts. There's a uh, side slip in the movie. Ooh, yeah. My favorite part about all this is definitely <laughs> side slip the movie and then that little video he made where he took an axe to make magnet traction on his board. <laughs> <laughs> That was really awesome, and uh, Ryan's personality, as you can all Dude, you guys rock. attest Thank to, is amazing. Thanks for the nice words, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I got those too. Check it out, you guns. What's up? <laughs> Keep your tootsies warm. You gotta do that. No cold toes. This isn't that bad, actually. Perhaps this is the lifer crew right here. This is, yeah. And, you know, a lot of 20 years of shredding together. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, more. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> couldn't be happier to be at this a group of eclectic bros. I'm starting to post 20th anniversary pin pin videos. So it's uh, Jeff Myers parts from all the pin pin movies back to back to back. So a long Jeff Myers. Same thing with Ryan Napton. Yo. And Mr. Chad Oster. Chopper. What's up? We're here with Trailer Tom, Ryan, and Jeff. Enjoying some awful views. It's serious. The groomers are next level.
legend of Nate Dog stories. There's too many of them. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know. It's just the, you know, the 23 years of first chair. I think we should do a really big documentary on him in the 25th year. And we could, you know, we can hit up like all the, you know, the, the dude that did all the 14ers, Chris Davenport. We can hit up the dude that just, you know, free soloed Half Dome or whatever. You know, all these people that did these amazing feats and then, you know, put an A-Dog next to him. It's like, because if you think about it, 23 years of dedicating yourself to potentially losing your job and, you know, taking time off work and hustling for multiple days, I'd say, what, 25 times four, four is your average night sleeping in the lot. So that's, you know, a hundred days of sleeping in your car just for fame. So, I mean, it's just the, it's obviously, you know, first chair Nate. Legendary. Legendary Nate Dog napping? The legendary Nate Dog, you know what, uh, what popped in my head? I'll just give it a big old apology to Nate Dog. He probably owes me some along the way, but uh, I'll give a big old apology. There's a contest due to or a Grand Prix here. I remember uh, it didn't place very well. I lost to some guys who weren't even getting out of the pipe, so they were doing low hand plants. Felt unfairly judged. We went out that night. I started shower beer, and as soon as I'm home, and I was sick and stuff, so I'm coughing <coughs> super hard like that, and I projectile puke on Nate's back right before we leave the damn house. So, uh, so I hopped back in the shower, but I brushed it off Nate, and he went out. So yeah, sorry, sorry, Nate. I got another one too. We were we were hitting these green rails, the schnacky rails on PK one time, and uh, Nate shows up in his red Celica, and literally jumps off of the snowbank he does like a three foot air in his car and uh hops out with his snowboard rolls up front boards it and then like hangs out for five minutes and then leaves and that was that was it so. one and done <laughs> <laughs> but literally jumped his car and his snow the snowboard and slid around the same spot pretty next level that's the chapter of uh flash mob nate dog stories he may just show up at any time slide some rails hit some powder on his board or his car and he's out. <laughs> so, whatever. so this is my first time ever on peak six. Yeah. Like we were talking the about. The powder is always deep on six. I've heard that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the glades on steep, six. But it might be deep. Amazing. Uh, so deep gladed powder yeah. here on six is uh, where you want to go on a powder day. I got to run over here. I call it white rabbit. Anyways, I was in the woods and I start riding down the hill and these this is when they first opened peak six like the first you know year and i go down the woods and i'm riding these little pillows and bumps and three white rabbits jump out and start riding pillows with me are so you I, serious I, and i'm literally riding through the woods and, the, and i felt like i was in lord of the rings like, <laughs> riding through the hill with these white rabbits and then uh a I nature know. run with the rabbits i like it yeah That's so i call it it's right uh over here a little i don't even know if you can see it or i'll ever find it again but i call this whole area white rabbit yeah, <laughs> it sounds m magical. Well, it's magical. Still Snowboarding with yeah, some rabbits on. running down with yeah. you.
Subscribe to Trailer Tom's YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Trailer Tom.